I want to welcome you um, to this very special event today and welcome our, our new dear friends from Elms uh, College, uh, especially to our very beautiful campus here in Fall River. And uh, Harry and I were talking about the first time we met um, at an inauguration of one of the presidents of the community colleges. And so it's, uh, I think this is maybe the third time I think that we've had a chance to meet each other, but it was very wonderful uh, for me to hear about how our faculty were working together on this uh, wonderful project. So we re reunite again in a, in a very wonderful way. So I want to welcome uh, some of our, our, our friends here today uh, from Elms College, Dr. Harry DeMay, our president from Elms, and Dr. Walter Brew, from, uh, who is the vice president for academic affairs. Dr. Joyce Hampton, there you are, um, who is our Vice President for Strategic Initiatives and the Dean of School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies. And Dr. Elizabeth Hukowitz, there we have, um, Dean of the School of Continuing Education. And I'm not sure how to pronounce Dr. Nina Tice. Tice. Um, uh, the co-chair, Division of National Science, Mathematics, and Technology. Uh, Dr. Janet Williams, and she couldn't be here either, uh, who is a professor of biology and director of the post-baccalaureate and master's of biomedical sciences program. And Dr. Sudad Saman, who is uh, the assistant professor of biology, and I know also uh, very instrumental in putting together this agreement. From the Bristol Community College side, we have Dr. Christine Hammond. There she is behind the camera. She's our interim vice president uh, for academic affairs. Kate O'Hara in yellow here, vice president uh, for student services and enrollment management. Dr. Sarmad Saman, our Dean of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And Dr. Adrian Foster, all back by Christine, uh, who is uh, uh, stepping in as our Interim Dean of STEM. And Dr. Michael Sapala, uh, who's our Chair of our Biology Program and Professor of Biology. So thank you so much for joining us today. Just a quick snapshot about the area. Uh, Bristol Community College serves 20 towns across this region of southeastern Massachusetts. Um, we have um, uh, an online presence, of course, that's very strong, but we have four campuses. Our largest is here in Fall River, followed by the second largest, which is in New Bedford. And then kind of side by side in enrollment right now uh, are our campuses in Attleboro and in Taunton. So we actually cover a very large land mass. Bristol County is one of the largest counties in Massachusetts. But if you were to drive from New Bedford to Attleboro, it would take you about an hour and a half. So just so that you know, it's that large of a, of a land mass. Uh, and if we didn't have our four locations, we would not be able to meet the needs of our students in our communities. Um, it's also probably important for you to know that 65% of our graduates uh, continue their education um, beyond Bristol Community College to receive a bachelor's degree or higher. Um, and that's very important to us here in southeastern Massachusetts where we have lower than average college going rates. Um, so we are very proud to be uh, one of the largest institutions of public education in the region. Uh, we know that our students have a lot of choices and that the landscape of higher education is very competitive. Um, but, and we also know that the value of a college degree is being challenged today. Um, but we feel very strongly that college is the path, is the way, and that we need to offer our students very clear pathways from start to finish, including to transfer. And so we strive to build partnerships with our local colleges and universities within, especially within Massachusetts and Rhode Island, uh, and position our students for the success that they want in their careers and in their lives. And, and it's really important uh, uh, work for us. Uh, I also, I'm just really thrilled that our, um, 
Uh, our work is in STEM, which is a very growing uh, area of um, our work here at Bristol Community College. So today we are here to solidify a partnership, and I also wanted to take a moment to um, give praise to Stephanie Dupre. I didn't identify her earlier, um, but she is our transfer coordinator, and she has been such an important part of making sure that after our faculty and staff work on the articulation agreements, that she's the one that works as the connective tissue in getting students to understand the transfer process and then also uh, 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 helping to um, uplift students into recognizing that they'll be successful in their transfer and she's done such a great job as well in helping uh, to make sure students will know about the M Elms College Agreement. So, uh, so happy to be here today uh, and to make sure that we can work together to create a great transition for our students from Bristol Community College to Elms College, uh, for them to transition into the bachelor's degree program and to help them be successful and graduate. So um, this is a wonderful opportunity uh, for us to work together. It's an extension of our missions as we try to provide access uh, to higher education and I hope that this is the start of a really wonderful relationship between the two colleges. Um, and in a little bit, uh, our Dean Sarmad Saman is going to share with you a little bit more uh, about the program and how we prepare them for their future, but just want to go on and say thank you uh, for all the work that's gone into this wonderful partnership. Uh, you've all played a very important role in uh, getting us here today. So uh, now I would like to introduce the president of Elms College, Harry E. Dumay, PhD, MBA, and uh, please uh, come up and say a few words. Welcome. Thank you, President Douglas. Um, family members get together at weddings and funerals. Um, college presidents get together at inaugurations and other presidents' <laughs> retirement parties. So, so it's good to be with you again um, here this afternoon. Um, thank you uh, to you and um, your leadership team, um, your academic team, uh, for um, inviting us, hosting us, and, and welcoming us um, here this afternoon. It is truly a pleasure for me and my colleague, colleagues, Dr. Bro, Dr. Hampton, Dr. Hockowitz, Dr. Salmon, uh, for us to be here with you on this really important occasion um, as Bristol Community College and the College of Our Lady of the Elms launch this agreement. Uh, so I bring you first day of spring warm greetings on behalf of the students, faculty, staff, and trustees of Elms College. Um, we congratulate you on steadfastly fulfilling your mission since you were chartered in 1965 and your mission of providing degree, degrees, work-related training, exposure to leisure and life enriching, re enriching activities to the students whom you serve. Through more than 130 career and transfer programs of studies, study, you offer your students a path to education, to further education. Our college was founded 1995 years ago this year by the Sisters of St. Joseph to make a top-rate college education in the Catholic intellectual tradition possible for those least likely to access it. We've expanded the, the definition of access over time, but we've remained true to the founding mission. Bristol Community College and Elms College are joined together in our mission to educate. Education is the great equalizer of the conditions of men, according to Horace, Horace Mann. That indeed is our common mission. We seek to provide our students with the knowledge, skills they need to pursue their dreams. And we expect our graduates, by applying those skills, to make the world a little bit better. So the agreement that we're signing today serves to build a bridge between our institutions for Bristol Community College students. And this is quite fitting because Elms College's current strategic plan is called Bridges to the Elms, the, to the Elms Plus Experience. So together, we aim to serve as a bridge 
to a better life for our students so that in turn they can serve as a bridge through which we can count touchless other, countless other human beings in the while contributing to a better world. So students who graduate from Bristol Community College with an associate of life in, uh, associate degree in life sciences are guaranteed admission into Elms College to pursue their bac baccalaureate in biotechnology. And if they complete their coursework with appropriate uh, GPA, can continue into graduate programs at Elms College. Uh, this partnership re reflects a tremendous need, as you uh, so well uh, indicated, President Douglas. Massachusetts, over the last two decades, has seen a great demand for skilled workers in the life sciences. The Mass Biotech Council's Life Sciences Workforce Analysis Report for 2022 found that life sciences employers, primarily, primarily in research and development, hospitals and pharmaceuticals, added 60,000 jobs between 2006 and 2021, an increase of 131%. And this outpaces every other industry in Massachusetts. The Biotech Council anticipates the need for as many as 40,000 new hires in the next few years. And this is while nearly three quarters of life sciences employers report difficulty finding skilled people for entry level positions. So that's where we come in through this partnership. With this academic transfer agreement, Bristol Community College and Elms College are addressing this need. At the same time, we are fulfilling our shared mission of preparing our students to carve out their own success. And so Stephanie, we promise you and all Bristol Co Community College students that Elms College will take great care of them. We are interested in each student as an individual, and we are single-mindedly focused on each student's success. That is our faculties and staff's calling, one which eagerly, we eagerly accept. So in closing, I wish to thank uh, the, the members of the boards of Elms College, the members of the boards of Bristol Community College, President Douglas, your leadership team, your academic team, our team at Elms College, uh, for, and everybody who has a hand in making today possible. Um, as you said, may it mark the beginning of a great and fruitful relationship on multiple levels between our two institutions. Uh, thank you for having us. This won't come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So next I'd like to call forth Dr. Sarmad Saman, who is the Dean of our STEM area, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, President Douglas. Welcome, everybody. Um, so it's very fitting that my last public uh, event is this articulation agreement. And it's fitting that Adrian is going to take over because Adrian worked with me when we established this program back in 2014. She is now the coordinator of the biotech program. And she's going to be coming the uh, interim dean of STEM who's going to see the implementation of this agreement uh, in the coming years. Now, I'm going to talk about how it benefits our students and what else will be receiving from Bristol as students. Now, the most important thing, this articulation will ensure students' success and they meet their objectives in their academic and work uh, goals. Because we prepare students here at Bristol for two years. They study and carry out uh, lab work in real estate fine art labs that were funded through about $12 million of grants. They have fabulous faculty who will teach them on the most up-to-date instrumentations. And all of them are coming here not just to get an associate and leave. The, the students in the biotech and the biology programs are students who are aiming to complete their graduate degrees. They want to get jobs in research. Uh, our biology students are aiming to go into medical schools and dental schools. And we were just talking, uh, Adrian and I, about one of the students who I taught back in 2012. He has a PhD now, works at a company, and he brings in 
uh, uh, internships opportunities for our students now. So these are the type of students that uh, AMS will be receiving. At the same time, those students will benefit from the expertise AMS will provide them in getting their bachelor degree and moving them even through their graduate studies. So it will be a joint uh, effort by two colleges to ensure that these students meet their objectives and become very successful in their professional and academic life. And many of them will become researchers and, and professors in the end, so they will give back to the colleges that they started from. So I'm really very thankful for this agreement. I'm sure it will be long lasting. Uh, and I'm sure uh, both colleges will be happy with the end product in the end, which is a successful outcome for our students. So welcome you all and thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Saman. So uh, now I'd like uh, for us to put signatures on our first agreement, uh, which is the Associate in Life Sciences and Biotechnology, Forensic DNA, and the BS in Biotechnology. And if you don't mind, oh. Oh. I am so, you're right, I skipped right over that. I'm so sorry, Joyce. Uh, Joyce Hampton, I'd like to call Joyce Hampton forward, uh, Elms Associate Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Dean, School of Arts and Sciences and Professional Programs, Joyce Hampton, EDD. I'm sorry for that. I was so eager to, to get to the signing. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. It really is a pleasure to be with you today. And you know, to be able to have such a warm welcome from President Douglas and also Dr. Saman, in terms of the work that's been done to be able to develop this, and I think of um, my own colleague, Dr. Betty Huckowitz, and all of the work that's gone into that from the School of Continuing Education, working with our faculty at Elms, working with the faculty here at Bristol Community College to have that vision to be able to think about that together. It really is, as President Dumay said, the ability to think about our missions, the ability to think about our values in order to build these strong pathways and new opportunities for our students. You know, I've only spent a very short time here at Bristol Community College within an hour or two hours here, but already I can feel very much the alignment and the same commitment to students. And so what I do know is that your interest in the pathways for your students, for their success in the future, Bristol Community College and beyond into that four-year degree and beyond into graduate programs or additional types of employment, very palpable. And so I see that and I hear that. I saw the motto, your dreams within reach. And when I think about that, it speaks to really that shared value of that holistic, inclusive support for student success and as they're pursuing their academic excellence. So this articulation agreement that we're about to sign here really does build those bridges, does provide access to that four-year degree and beyond, which we all hope and dream for our students so that it can be within their reach. So as we look ahead, we hope that it is just the start of a deep level of collaboration between Elms College and between Bristol Community College. Thank you. All right, now we'll get to the signing. How about that? So Associate in Science, uh, in Life Sciences, Biotechnology, and Forensic DNA, as well as the uh, Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology. Yeah. <laughs>